What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. This is not a reading. This is just a little update. I was going to make it very public um, because we were told we could not speak about it with the children until the order was out. Um, and it's out, and I'm obviously not speaking with the children about it. But um, I wanted to let everybody know because everybody knows I had a court date on Thursday and um, for, uh, for the McClendon standard. Um, the kids testified, just to let you know, the kids testified and both wanted to live with their dad. Both of them did. So after I heard the testimony, uh, both of them wanting to live with their dad, which they have, they did not tell me that. But when I heard it in the courtroom, um, I knew. I mean, I knew, one, it was going to go that way. And two, it should be what's in the best interest of the children. And um, if they both want to live with their dad, that's what's in the best interest of the children. And that's just the truth, period, point blank. Um it shouldn't be about money. It shouldn't be about material possessions. It should be about what's in the best interest of the children. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And they both wanted to live with their dad. So, um, and they got what they wanted. And I made, honestly, when I heard, I heard it, um, I'm glad. I mean, it was a little hard. I didn't want them to testify. I didn't want them to testify because testifying is hard on children. But they testified the last time too. But they went to the judges' chambers. Um, this time they didn't go to the judges' chambers because I wanted to hear it. But I'm glad. I'm glad I did. Because um, if that's the way they feel, then I mean they can try it. You know. I mean I know when I was a kid. Uh, like I'll give you an example. When I was a kid, my um, I'm a foster child for anybody who doesn't know. I'm a foster child, or I was a child of the system. But my foster parents were co contemplating getting a, a divorce when I was about 10 years old. Little backstory. They were contemplating getting a divorce. I was about 10 years old. It was on Halloween night. My dad found evidence of phone calls of a number, out of town number that kept calling. And he under he did his own investigation and he found out that she was having an affair with him. That my foster mother was having an affair with this guy. So they got into this huge explosive argument on Halloween night. And they didn't usually have huge explosive arguments in front of the kids. They kept it very private, very quiet. But it was so big that they it happened in the living room because he was basically showing her the phone records and she was denying, denying, denying it. Um, and I, I mean, I was just trying to go in there and see if we were going trick or treating, but I heard some of it. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. I mean, it, they didn't involve us, but I could hear it. I could hear it. But my point is, is after that, of course, I didn't say anything. I was a 10 year old kid. I was told to go back to the bedroom and wait. So I did. So I went back and of course I, you know, Went out in the hallway and kind of listened a little bit and figured out the rest of it. And it's basically what I just told you. But my point is, is um, about a couple weeks after that, my foster mother, not my foster father, my foster mother came to me and she said, if me and your uh, dad was to get a divorce, whose home would you want to live in? And of course, me and her never got along ever, 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 even back then, especially not back, especially back then. And so, of course, it was easy for me to say, my dad. And I did. I said, my dad. She goes, really? Like, all surprised. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so, that was the end of it. Um, so, anyways, my point is, when I heard them on the stand say that, it flashed me back to that. Because I believe they should have a choice. They should have a choice. Just like if they were to, if my foster parents got a divorce all those years ago, I would, there's no way I would have wanted to live with her. No freaking way. No way. Um, uh, it would have been my dad all day long. If I would have lived with her, I would have ran away. And that's the, that's the truth. I would have ran away. That's the damn truth. Um, that's true. So, um, so anyways, so 
but I still, you know, it's still the way it is right now. So he has custody, full custody, uh, primary physical, uh, physical custody, and I have visitation. So it's just flip-flopped. It's like it was in the McClendon standard. I have visitation. He has primary, um, sole primary physical custody. I have visitation. Um, and, um, and you know, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's what's in the best interest of the children. So hopefully they do a lot better up there. Um, he's uh, apparently found some really good schools for them. So, um, I mean, it sounds like he's doing what he needs to do on his end as far as providing the educational, um, getting it all set up. Well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.